meaning that if you're going to take a class online, you know, it needs to have it needs to have some things that, that a classroom can't offer you. And one of them is is the perfect view. And um, and so I really do work hard at um, <clears throat> having that work out. Now, um, one of the things that um, I want to do today is I want to talk a little bit about um, paper, because this is a painting. Watercolor paper, as you all know, comes in all kinds of different forms. <clears throat> and um, if you uh, find yourself not wanting to paint, and the reason is, is because the materials are too expensive to just use, um, then I recommend that you buy this Canson XL mixed media paper. It's um, a lightweight paper, um, 98 pound, which isn't, oh, here, 98 pound, which isn't particularly lightweight, but um, it doesn't have, you know, it's thin, the paper's thin, but it still does not go through the the paint. It doesn't, if you want to paint real wet, I you know, this doesn't work just really great, but you can paint pretty wet on this paper. Plus the other nice, nice thing about it is, is that it doesn't have any tooth. It's real smooth, which would be the hot press type feel and um and so it takes the paint just you know really quickly but this is a great paper to sketch on and just figure out your colors and learn all kinds of things with and even do some great paintings because I've I have done I have licensed images that I did on that paper um the background's easy to clip move, remove and um and the edges are clean and crisp. And then, um, so another, a painting, a paper that I'm gonna paint on today that I haven't painted on for years is Strathmore. And this is not 100% cotton. It's very, very available. I do recommend the brown, which is not cheap, 12 sheets for $3.69, but at least you can get it. Um, you know, small quantities instead of having to pay a dollar a sheet or something like that, which is what most 100% um, uh, cotton paper is. But this is a paper that is is pretty nice. It's not 100% cotton, so the paint um, does soak in to the paper, and um, and so your color is not as bright and um, and noticeable but you know I can do I can talk about this forever but I really want you all to see the difference and so um, today I am going to paint this painting on a hundred percent cotton Fabriano uh, cold press which means it has lots of tooth, but this is the traditional white, which is the color that you usually find um, art paintings painted on. It's not this real crisp white like I like so much, but oh my goodness, lemons are beautiful on this color. And, um, and so um, that's that's one of the things. Now I have, um, if I took this and I put tape on these edges, since this is not 100% cotton, it would tear the paper really easily regardless of how hard you worked at it. Now you can have all kinds of, of um, tricks that might work, um, you know, or might not, you know, Sometimes it's going to work, sometimes it's not. 
and you're going to think it's something you did or didn't do, but it's not. It's just the paper is not uh, stable, and um, it's going to tear the paper sometimes. But if it's out there on that outside edge, it really usually doesn't matter on how you see it. 